Okay. Before I delve into Country Bumpkin Utaka, a brief history of Ota Gucci Field and this game. If you've seen my previous videos with the uh, Country Girl Keiko, Country Girl Keiko is made by Ota Gucci Field. It's a Japanese Iroge created with uh, an RPG maker. And uh, Country Bumpkin Utaka is uh, kind of a conundrum because it is not only a sequel to Country Girl Keiko, but it is a complete remake slash reimagining of his very first game, Muchi Muchi Inaka. Now, Muchi Muchi Inaka was released in August of 2014. Which was also followed up by a school trip deal and a, some other, a couple of other lesser things that basically pull from this story. Now, this is his. Uh, latest release and I have played the entire Japanese version but I have yet to play this Steam version that is censored the I have not even downloaded the restoration patch for this yet I want it to come in completely bare on this. I have not seen the censored version. At all. I have not seen an actual English version of this game yet. Therefore, I can tell you differences, but I won't be able to tell you differences in the dialogue. Because I was using a, a program to translate it for machine translate it for me, which can get a lot of things wrong, but the gist is there. Let's go on in to the English version of Country Bumpkin Utaka. I'm totally expecting uh, adult characters instead of the children like it was in uh, Country Girl Keiko. Holy shit. Yeah. Hey, but they do have the mug shots. The mugshots of the characters, which they didn't have the mugshots of the characters in Country Girl Keiko. Morning lectures. Head for the university. Holy shit. I'd, I'd forgotten about them doing that. that let's do something real quick settings always dash that way make this a little less okay there now we're 
move a little better. Yeah, I'll just skip all the way to the school, okay. Oh my god, they gave the son of a bitch a mustache in the character model. You, you saw his mugshot before, there's no mustache. But... This girl right here is a heavy plot point in the uh, main story as the game goes on. At least in the uh, full version. I'm not certain about the censored. Wow. I love how there's still the kid or uh, mugshots, but they, uh, I'm not so, I, I'm not worried about it. I do want to point out that uh, when he turned over the artwork and everything to uh, Kagura Games, they, he had no idea how long it was going to take, but was looking at how long it takes some of the other games to get released, and he got really upset. But when he heard that this game was going to be released on the 19th, he was so happy that he dropped what he was doing and started working on a brand new game with brand new characters. And I'm really excited about that because it's going to have like uh, crafting and like a scientist. Like they've, one of the main characters is like a busty scientist. And whenever you put stuff together, she gives a little, po or a neat little, or victory pose and everything. It's kind of neat. I mean, this dude's work on just uh, character interaction and stuff and RPG Maker, they just just inspires the hell out of me. Get to just go talk to everybody with the little exclamations to fill out the town and things that will happen later. I mean, as usual, it's a bunch of stuff that you can't do. And a little photo studio here. I mean, I, I'm going to say right off that this game is a lot longer than Country Girl Keiko, so if it's even near the length of the uh, full game, or even half that length, even a quarter, it'd be way longer than Country Girl Keiko, and that's saying a lot.
but I, I do, I do want to, like, oh, I'm not going to go to the full ending for this game. If I do the full ending for this game, or I'll do it on another video. But for right now, I just want to or go as long as I can on this. Just to mainly see or more differences. I mean, once it opens up to where we can walk around, that's when they, we're really going to have fun with this one. See how they change the story going in. Okay, so they did not change the name of that. Now the cool thing is that he stuck it on the Q key. Which, oh, I, the game kind of plays with oh, Z and X. Like, oh, I, Z being confirm, X being oh, I, back. Put it on Q so you absolutely cannot hit it accidentally, and that, I like that. Because there is like a dark side to this thing. There'll be like little uh, bugs and animals and stuff walking about. And uh, as you power the character up, she can kill that stuff. And there's a dark ending that you can get. If you kill a bunch of stuff, you end up like being a murderer at the end of the, or in an ending. And it's, uh, like I said, it's, it, it's dark. But he wanted to hide something like that in the game. This, this really doesn't work with the adult characters. Now, I want to point out that the uh, main reason for this in the full game, I don't think they're going to do it here. Is they're not here to play a prank or whatever like it looks like they're doing here with the adults it's the fact that they wanted to sneak into the mayor's house because they heard that he had dirty magazines Yeah, they ab you absolutely didn't get to go and even f or try to find the items. I need to point out that even Yutaka is a child in the regular version.
At least they're placing it in a nice uh, span of time past the end of uh, Keiko. Now see, that right there, that ties into the main story. And here's Kino. Who, who just happens to use, like, a character model here that kind of resembles the dude who in the full version of uh, the game and via, oh, I lets him come in and look at manga in his house so he can sit there and stare down her shirt. Just something to look forward to. Full version. Now, I need to point out that Yutaka has a growth spurt while she's gone, which puts her into her adult form. At the same time, here's Keiko returning to the, to the village. She's been living in a city for the past few years. says many years, but good God, what bad wording on that. It should say a few, you know. Many implies way too long a time period. I also want to point out that in this version of the uh, of Muchi Muchi and Naka, you do get it some after or uh, like Keiko will come down with a illness and you're supposed to cure her and once you cure Keiko's illness it will, at some point after that, give you the ability to play as both of them. Which, the Keiko stuff, you pick right back up where Country Girl Keiko left off. If you played the full version of that, you know. 
Not sure about the censored portion, but... Interesting. Holy crap! That that cut out a lot of a uh, story right there. Like full cutscenes are like getting axed in this censored. See that that giant damn bed is still in their living room.
Wonder if they gave him a big black mustache too. Dude, it didn't even let me go up to the little mark on my seat. They did. They gave him a big black mustache. That's what we'll do. We'll run this to when we cure Keiko. Let's go. And now he doesn't have a mustache. What the hell? Ah, uh, maybe it was the teacher that had the big black mustache. I'm, I'm kind of surprised we could even come into this door. Because this is the bathhouse.
Wow. Because, like, whenever you do, like, the interactions with characters that give you cutscenes, it gives you levels. So, I guess in the censored version, they're just hiding them around. Now, in the full thing, the uh, mayor will be here with his son, and they basically say, oh, we can't help you unless you go change your outfit. Now, we have to rebuild the stinky stick, or whatever the hell it was called. So, we gotta start at the school. As you can see, there's lots of life in the uh, world. And apparently, they're just going to give me the shit to make the... <sighs> the dude's not even there. That's, that's messed up. Yes, I know there was a chest in there, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. There's a chest right here under this shirt, but... Wow, the characters that are usually here aren't here. Now I can just straight up go to Kino to make the friggin... Wait a minute. Wow. It left him there. And you can even go in here. The little boy, the blue things forward the story. The little red exclamations, they are enhanced per or perverse actions, and they left him there for that. All right, I have to go to Kino's house or whatnot to Kino's house. I believe is this one. Stinky stick. And and dude has just freaking disappeared. Okay, there he is. Alright. Now we can bust stuff. Which also means we can go up this way.
Okay, it's going to be different this time. Uh, because it's like you learn sex appeal from uh, Keiko at some, at some point in the start here. And uh, you use sex appeal to drive the guy crazy or whatever. system in this version is weird. Like, the people that are usually here aren't even here now. But their little secret base is. they removed the little deal to because there's a uh, doorway right here in the full version since they took that away there's no portal to another map jump I think you get that ability from these guys in here Sucks. It doesn't look like we're going to get anywhere fast. without any uh, guidance. I don't know, I guess I can do this.
Huh. That's weird. Well, I can do this. <laughs> There's a little old woman in here. Which, uh, in the full game, that's a little boy. Weird. I guess I can do this. Oh, I can't move the rock yet. Wow, there's so many people missing from walking around. Wonder what he's got. Rustic pot, huh? Interesting. How they translated that. What? Interesting. There's like a uh, fortune teller or something right there. That is not there in this. The dude who makes the uh, pot worthy is not there. Let's see, let's go in here. Okay. I 
I guess we're just collecting money right now. too much stuff like like getting those the uh, mayor gets mad because they're his vegetables but don't know if it's going to do that in this version I don't want to get him all the way mad, but going here. Okay, now we've got that, we can do our stuff in the rest of the areas. Taka jump. Check our items. Now we have to go talk to Keiko. What? 
Maybe I need to get the bowl first. Now, generally, he's going to yell at me. But, oh, I... He spanks her in the full version. So. Interesting way to go about it, I guess. Let's go get that pot. Oh yeah, and for the uh, complete perfect ending, there's these puzzle areas. incredibly difficult but they have like god orbs or whatever you're supposed to get which allows you to go back in time and undo something that got done in the darker part of uh, Keiko brings the character uh, Kiri back into play let's see up yet? Huh. Yeah, there's not as many people walking around because you don't have characters that you can interact with. I guess now is when you can go talk to Keiko. Yeah, there she is. She's sitting up. Now you get sex appeal. I don't know what they're going to call it in this. Which uh, works on three people. I believe it's just three people.
what? That was way different than what you get. to save Keiko. So. I'm really confused because the guy I do for the pot was down here and now he's here. What? no little etchy moment with him really so I have no idea why they took him away and then put him back just for this moment I guess she only had gas. Sisterly bond is the way you uh, swap characters. And that is the mystery you have to solve next.
I want to point out that Muchi Muchi and Naka's story, the game this is a remake of, ended just now. So, the rest of this game, after this point in the full game, is a whole new experience. The station is over here. That's right, folks. The missing student is possessing their mother. Which means, even though she got some action in Keiko, Lady Aya here is about to get a whole lot more action in this game.
Okay. Now to just throw it out there. We'll go up to the shrine. And this part of the game will be bouncing from Keiko who will do things with different people that will unblock Yutaka's way so that she can get into spaces with these little marks on the ground. The marks on the ground will un unseal the deal so that you can get to the end game of this game. That right there helps you move the, uh, gives you Yutaka strength. Yeah, see. Okay. Now if you look, curse marks right over here. There you go. Now we're playing Country Girl Keiko 2. And uh, it looks like the full map is open, unlike uh, Country Girl Keiko. So, I'm going to leave it there. Country Pumpkin Utaka and Country Girl Keiko are both available on Steam in this rendition. You can go to Kagura Games' website to get the restoration patches, or you can just buy it full out on uh, Kagura Games' website. As of right now, they're running a uh, special uh, release sale on Utaka, so you can get it for like 13 bucks. Hope y'all enjoyed this little foray into Country Pumpkin Utaka. 
I have a great love for the way this guy puts things together. Uh, this game is actually growing in the Japanese uh, version to where there's all uh, right there will be basically updates aka DLC for this game probably by the end of the year where you play uh, their mother in a totally different area of town there's a uh, almost uh, Pokemon Evolution style of uh, Yutaka in the mountain village with her grandmother that goes between Keiko and this. Uh, which I guess will be added the same way as uh, you had the multiple game styles from Keiko to where you had like the dark one and you had uh, the little class trip and everything. Well, until next time.